Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am racing with the weather and daylight. It's super gloomy outside. It's supposed to rain, but whatever idea I have in my mind, I need to do it outside. So I will be transporting everything outdoors and constructing my beautiful garland outside. I will be using balloons from Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company. This time I am working with Vitalitics instead of Qualitics. Beautiful green colors and I am mixing a few other things in there as well. You can use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout at Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company. This code is an affiliate code and it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. Also, this code is valid only for your first purchase and if you're a new customer. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video. And without any further ado, let's go. Here's what I'm planning to use for today's setup. You guys, I'm so excited to use these colors. So let's see what we have. I have white sand 11 inch, eucalyptus 5 inch, eucalyptus 11 inch, and peach blush in 24 inch balloons. I will let you know throughout the video what I will be using on top of these balloons. Also, you guys, I do have high shine in my storage. I'm going to take it out and finally test it out. High shine is supposed to keep your balloons nice and shiny and uh, balloons won't become matte. So very curious about that. As soon as I'll take my balloons out, I will test the high shine and it's not as hot outside, but it's pretty humid. So we'll see how high shine will perform. All ready to inflate my balloons. So like usual, I am starting with my 11 inch balloons and I am inflating them into different sizes. As soon as I'm done inflating my balloons, I am pressing them against the floor to give them more rounder shape. You guys, this color is gorgeous. I can only imagine how these balloons will look like if you'll double stuff them with black balloons. I think it would look amazing. Anyways, after pressing them against the floor, I am tying them into a pair like this. One more thing I want to mention about these balloons. These are Vitalitics, as I told you a little bit earlier, and they can blow larger to the size as they advertised on the package. I love the quality of these balloons. They are soft and nice and very comfortable to work with. To cluster my balloons, I'm taking two different sizes, a pair of balloons, and starting to interwind them together. Taking a third cluster and adding to my existing cluster to create a cluster like this. Keep on clustering. I am using this white big bag to pack all of my balloons. You guys, I will link them in the description under the video i love these bags i always use them if i need to transport my balloons somewhere they're huge and they can fit a lot of balloons to construct my balloon garland i am using two 60s of balloons just tie your balloons together to create a rope and start building your garland like any other garlands. I did attach my garland to my frame with two 60s. Just tie it up and you're good to go. Today I want to try something new. So I took my two 60s and tied each end to a cluster. So I will be kind of filling in spaces this way. I will let you know how that's gonna go. I've seen a lot of people using this method. Let's go. Let's go chase these guys. I use two 60s balloons to tie my bigger size of balloons. You guys, I really like this method, taking two 60s and tying clusters to each end and then wrapping around. I hope you can hear me with all this wind. But anyways, I will be definitely doing this method more and more often from now on. I absolutely love and I absolutely obsessed with all the colors. Let's finish this up. If you look closely at my backyard, you can tell that the land goes down. It's slanted. That's why this happened. And 
of course it started to rain. almost boring so I had to really speed up the process and use my rubber bands to fill in spaces it turned out very very pretty obviously I can't test out balloon shine everything is super wet so hopefully my frame won't rust because I don't want that I love the quality of these balloons I love everything that I used you guys I love the colors everything is gorgeous in my opinion love it I will link and list everything in the description under this video. I used 111 inch eucalyptus color, this green color balloons. I used half the bag of 5 inch balloons. I used 4 24 inches balloons in this blush. I did inflate some of them smaller than 24 inches and it looks great. And I used half the bag of this color over here this lighter color for you guys that was an adventure that was so much fun i am cold now i need to go change because i'm wet because of the rain i was trying my hardest to beat the weather i looked at the weather channel app and they told me that it's supposed to rain at five nope it started raining at 2 30 so hey <sighs> And yeah, that's my situation for today with this balloon garland. I will go clean whatever's behind me because my filming room is such a mess. It's a mess. And if it's gonna stop raining, I'm gonna go and clean up the balloon garland and dry off my frame. One more thing, you guys, I absolutely love Vitalitics. I fell in love with them today, actually. I did work with them before, but uh, I used them mostly Qualitics and then Vitalics, like kind of like a filler. I absolutely love Vitalitics. Really, really, really good balloons. I lost two balloons. One popped while I was uh, looping my rubber band over the balloon and just because balloons are outside they started exodizing and they became a lot softer and when they become softer they have a higher chance to pop. So I was looping my rubber band and that balloon popped and a second balloon popped while my frame fell and it popped the balloon. Only one balloon which I am so surprised. Yeah, I'm excited to explore and excited to make more videos with Vitalitics. As I'm sitting here, I still think about my balloon garland. I did buy a whole bunch of new artificial flowers, so I think I want to take them and add them to my garland. Let's go see, because I feel like it's missing something. So I'm still deciding what kind of colors of flowers I want to use. I love all of them here. I might insert all of them because I love how this pinkish color looks with the rest of the balloons and it kind of ties in with my hydrangeas even though this section of my flowers they're dying already for the fall. So I don't know let's try to figure this out. I am simply taking my flowers and inserting them between my balloons. This is my final setup for sure, you guys. Look how beautiful everything looks together. I am obsessed with these flowers. They bring the Sibylline Garland to another level for sure. I bought these flowers and these greeneries over here from Walmart. I love it. They look really realistic and they are good quality as well. Um, not these. These are leaving a lot of mess behind them. They just... let me show you quickly. I don't know if you can see, but a lot of stuff is falling off from them. But these beauties, they are worth buying. I absolutely love the quality of these balloons. I will be using Betalytics more often in my videos. So you guys, seems like we are reviewing this balloon shine on our balloons. It's very nice and humid. It stopped raining and it's a perfect condition to test this. So I got this balloon shine from Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company along with this baggie and little 
cloth in it. So in the back it says balloon shine protects against the dulling effect of oxidation and keeps the sparkling in your look 10 minutes long. Uh, colors come alive and dull fogged balloons are restored to their original beauty. It says spray balloon shine directly onto the balloon and spread evenly and completely with soft clean cloth or glove. I unpacked the baggie that I received with this balloon shine and looks like it's a glove, cloth glove. I will be testing balloon shine on this balloon. After 30-40 seconds after I applied my balloon shine on this balloon, this balloon went to matte again. So I don't see a difference with using a balloon shine or not using a balloon shine. I'm just curious to know if I had to spray my balloons inside and take them out and then balloon shine would work. I think we're going to go and test that. The only difference I see now is that this balloon has a little bit more color than this. This looks a little bit white, but maybe it's just powder and I just washed this one with balloon shine. I don't know. Now let's go inflate a balloon inside and spray our indoor balloon with it and then take it out and see what's gonna happen. I just grabbed a balloon from previous video. That's why I have these. It's a good thing because I will spray this one down with balloon shine and then we'll see the difference when both balloons will start exodizing. is completely rubbed in with balloon shine. Let's go and see outside what's going to happen. I'm standing here for about like five minutes. I don't see any uh, terrible oxidation as uh, what these balloons are supposed to oxidize to. I'm gonna leave them, tie them somewhere outside and I will be back to see the difference. Final update on my high shine balloon looks very nice and glossy and these guys over here they are matte let's turn our balloon and we can see where i treated my balloon and where i didn't so this balloon was laying here for about like 15 20 minutes and it looks good final conclusion about high shine if you want your balloons to stay nice and glossy treat your balloons indoors with high shine and then take them outside. Balloon shine won't work on already oxidized balloons. I transported my balloon garland and my frame on my patio because it fell. It's finally on a solid ground. The spot where I placed my frame is not straight and I'm not surprised that this whole thing fell. If you're planning to put anything on the grass, on the ground, in the grass, then put some weights on your bases for sure because i didn't and look what happened this is it you guys this is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below and i will try to help you out to the best of my abilities if you're new here you guys what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas and i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye